Baxter made his Olympia debut in 1999. You know how much stuff has happened since 1999? And this guy's only missed one Olympia. This would be his 21st if he didn't sit out one year. Some kind of record. I don't think it will ever be broken. For me, I feel that Dexter is one of the greatest all-time bodybuilders. And the reason why I say that is just name me an athlete which has been consistently at the top, won all the major titles you can possibly can for such a long time. I don't know anybody. You're absolutely right. But again, you know, when you do something long enough, eventually Father Time wins. And tonight, I think Father Time is catching Dexter simply from the fact that we've seen Dexter so much more superior than what we've seen right now. While he's 49 years old, he'll be 50 in only a month, we've seen Dexter with that eight-pack abdominal wall that's not there tonight. We've seen the glutes shredded, which were not there tonight. We've seen the hamstrings in a little bit more. So that little film of water is holding him back from his dream of a repeat. I don't think that's going to happen here tonight. But how do you knock somebody as consistent and as great as Dexter? I find it hard to criticize him because I'm, you know, I'm older than he is. And there's at 49 years old, I was sitting on the beach drinking beers. Such a huge respect at almost 50 to put your body through this. And as much as he does every year to get that many wins under his belt, to stay in prep, to stay that condition and just pound away on that near 50 year old body. Well, this is where genetics come in too. You see the traps. It, when he's done bodybuilding, those traps are still going to be there. Those shoulders are going to still, he's not going to shrink down to nothing. But being the veteran, Dexter knows in the history of this game, the midsection is where everyone, everything starts. And when you relax it, that's the first thing we start to criticize. I think a year ago, Phil Heath lost to Mr. Olympia because of his lack of control of his midsection. Now, he is beloved in the sport, especially having been a fixture for so long. I can tell you one thing. I don't think Dexter's done because he was seventh a year ago. I believe he's going to be in the top five or top six here tonight. And if that's the case, that's more gas in the tank to fuel another year. And we could be sitting here looking at a 50-year-old Dexter Jackson one year from now because there's definitely shows out there that he can win. He won last month. He won at Tim Gardner's Tampa Pro. And he went up against Luke Sando, who we'll be seeing shortly. I was there at the show, and I was super impressed with what Dexter pulled because I feel that Dexter was better this year in Tampa than he was last year on, Olympia, on stage in the Olympia. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, you know we, we, we sit here, and we've got a critique, and we get to give our opinions and views and be very constructive. But Sean, for his age, his condition is still absolutely exceptional. Have we seen this? Is this the best of him? No, it, it isn't. But what he's presenting himself on stage is unbelievable well, for the industry. And, so. and to give it perspective, there's going to be a lot of guys going home that just got their butts kicked by a 49-year-old bodybuilder.